literally in this matchup, just the first person to get the combo off. Because I don't think there is any way to block through it in thinking about it. The other scenario with this is they always go first, right? With the quick rematch, or does it still roll? I feel like they're consistently always going first. And in my personal opinion, I think second is better for Melody because it gives you the flexibility to block burn cards, right? Because we're not really a uh, action taking deck. We're more of a reactive style deck. I'm just going to grab the quicken now because there's nothing else for us to do. This is kind of a bad start. Amulets. I could burn the Encore. Mm. We'll hold on to it for now. It is kind of bad to have it this early. Nourishing Emptiness is great. Give us a... Might? Yeah, Might. Is there any way for us to combo them too? Because we have the Quick End, so I could probably do both large, Last Ditch and Nourishing if they don't attack. They're cashing out straight away. Which is interesting. So they must have the pieces. And there's the Pursuit. So we're probably just playing the unmovable and then playing the nourishing emptiness next turn. Rather than going for the two. So I'm assuming that's final act. We are going to ditch our on call. This is way too early in, in terms of the deck. Again, this aids their core, especially now that we know they have the cash out. Because we're just allowing them to cycle one extra card. That's a decent go for it type of hand. Especially because we have the tunic up. I feel like we do kind of just go for it again. Cash in off the gold. A tunic for the Mage Master and Tome. They just give us one token. Ah. It would be great if we didn't have the final act in the arsenal. I already got rid of an encore, so I can't just play it. I think we just kind of have to go for it. Or do we wait one more turn? I mean, we can't draw anything anyway. So it's probably worth just going for it. All right. I can pitch one card. We'll, we'll try our luck, why not? Do that. No, it's next. Ah, shit. That was the wrong order. Sorry. Time first. I mean, that was completely the wrong order. I don't know what I was thinking. Rocking the Mage Master first. Uh, we got the cash out, which is great. But we need another attack. There's an attack. Vanish and go again. Vanish the snatch. Uh, do we play this round on me? I'm kind of looking for another amulet, so I am going to play this round on me. We got humble. Meh. Cash out. And now we just cycle. Again, want to keep the attacks for last for that reason. Out of war. Vanish and buff. There's the other cash in, which we can play at this point for gold. Uh, for not gold, for resources instead. Lead the charge is okay. Uh, it's at least it's the two if we find the other final act. So this is the only issue. We need to find the other final act. Because <laughs> I got rid of Encore. And there's the red to bog it down. Come on. We get a little bit of luck. Last one. Nope. Uh, we can't opt, but we have no way to draw regardless. 
So I should have kept the Encore from the start, I think. Or I should have not messed up the Mage Master proc, right? I completely forgot it's next. I just, for whatever reason in my head, it's like, oh, it automatically works with, with Tome. That's the combo, so it automatically works. We were one card short. That sucks. Either of these would have drawn into it if we were just one more draw. Oh God, that is, that is horrendous. We have to force them to block though, which is good. We can still technically win if they don't have the combo, right? Cause we can still apply a lot of pressure, but then we're also letting them sift for a ton of cards. I could also, Ooh. Do I have the resources for it? I do. Excuse me. Screw you, Telesha. Says choose a hero. If I if I could choose them, I would have drawn into the copper. I could then play the copper for four off the lead charge, go and final act, and then hated myself because I was one resource short. <laughs> oh god. And this doesn't do anything for us, so I'm just gonna burn it. And hope that they don't have the or don't draw into the next final act. Uh, we want attacks. Technically we want unmovable. No, no, I want attacks. Yeah. With a bit of draw. So like attack, draw, attack, draw. Like that kind of. Ah, uh, God. Just a baby final act would do the job too. What can we do for a baby final act? This rounds on me is definitely the right start. Pitch the talisman. Sift the humble, I suppose. Play the amulets. Play the other final act for three. God, we are one short. All because of the misplay on the boots. Completely my fault. What can you do? We don't have remembrance though. I mean, technically I could get pretty close to it. Again, off of the two amulets. Play interlude, play remembrance. I might as well show them that there's nothing in my hand. Uh, we'd want draw. Right. We have the cash out, so we want final act, final act, and a draw. Tome is probably just better because it's just a dead card for no resource. So gutted about that, the Mage Master Boots. But you learn by your mistakes. So they must have it. Big card. Well, they've got 50-50. The extra silver, they got it. Come on. Surely you have it. It has to be final act. I mean, even one is from them is probably above, uh, above 21. Well, above 23, right? I think it's like 25. So that's the other upside of the copper is you can thin out your deck a lot more. It's just in any other real matchup, right? giving your opponent quick and giving them the one resource from Vigor is just so detrimental. I guess they just take Viddle, Fiddle D for some reason I take Gamble Gloves. Just to fill a slot. It feels like they don't quite have it. Unless they're just trying to get as big as possible. Yeah, I think they just try and get as big as possible. Yeah. 
I can sort of see what's in their deck as well now. So I cut... Oh, they run all copies of pick card. I cut it because it's just so luck-based. For the silver. Is, do they run anything else different? Pursuit of Knowledge is the other one. Which I think I will probably slot in. Because it's a decent attack. The intellect is super powerful. So your opponent has to block it. The Fleetfoot Sandals, I kind of just like the draw aspect. Because again, the whole point is just to, uh, at some point, you know, flick the switch and just try to draw through your deck. We, are, we do take longer than them, though, to think. <laughs> uh, we damage 32. They damage just 34, yeah. 